Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion, where on the basis of facts, which I have with me, a little bit of reading, a lot of opinion, and the news of the day, I don't pull my punches and tell the truth as it is. And on the nation's sharpest opinion, I want to talk about the Sengal tonight. Many of us didn't know about the Sengal. I must admit, I knew very little about it. And now, it's the most trending word in the country. Everyone's talking about the Sengal. What is the Sengal? And what is the significance of the Sengal to the inauguration of the parliament on the 28th of this month, this Sunday, on Sunday morning? What is the Sengal? What does it represent? What is its history? And the very reason we are asking these questions is the reason for this debate. The reason we are asking these questions, the reason we are talking tonight, the reason we are asking our parents or our children or having these conversations in drawing room tonight, what is the Sengal? And let me tell you what the Sengal is, ladies and gentlemen. I just put up a visual descriptor of it, maybe full frame for a moment if our producers can put up one image or two images or three images of the Sengal. And as I play those images for a few seconds, let me tell you a little bit about it. This is the Sengal, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very, 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 very sacred piece of our national history. It has a deep, deep, deep connection with Tamil Nadu. It is very, very significant. Something very dramatic happened in the country on August 14th, 1947. And the irony is this pseudo-secular brigade and there you see Nehru is holding the Sengal. Let's run it full frame because I'm describing it over the full frame pictures. Nehru is holding in his hands the Sengal. We stay with the pictures. Nehru received the Sengal. 10.45 p.m. August 14th, 1947 from priests, from, from Mutt priests who had specially flown in from Tamil Nadu. And the significance of the Sengal is this that this is the symbol of the transfer of power which was placed in the hands of Jawaharlal Nehru. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sengal, which represented the transfer of power, so when Nehru holds the Sengal in his hand, Sengal, the name is derived from the Tamil word Semmai. I'm, I think, I hope I get the pronunciation right, but it means righteousness, Dharma, Dharma, righteousness. It was blessed by the highest priests of Shaivite Mats in Tamil Nadu. And you can see on top of the Sengal, ladies and gentlemen, is the sacred Nandi. Sacred Nandi with its unyielding grace and its unyielding gaze. Ladies and gentlemen, those who say that India's history must be obliterated, who want to put a pseudo-secular version of our history must remember, that this Sengal, which is very, very, very much a part of our national history, which can never be obliterated, never be obliterated, it, 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 it is a representation of India's civilizational practice from the Chola kingdom integrating the south and the north. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a firm history to the Sengal. And why I'm talking about the Sengal is, and I'll talk more about it, is because when the transfer of power happens, in 1947, from Mountbatten to Nehru, then the priests come from Tamil Nadu and through a very, very detailed Hindu, Shaivite, religious uh, ritual, this Sengal is transferred to Nehru 75 years back. And why am I talking about it today? My dear viewers, I'm talking about it because these pseudo-secular Congis eliminated the Sengal from our history. They eliminated the fact that the entire basis of the transfer of power in India was on the basis of our Hindu civilizational past and history, which we must be proud of. But they were embarrassed about it, and that is why they deposited it in some cupboard in Anand Bhavan, in Allahabad, where it was described as Nehru's walking stick. Can you believe it, viewers? Once again, I put the pictures on the screen. This was called Nehru's walking stick. And why was it called Nehru's walking stick? Because, because Nehru and all his, you know, his followers later in the Congress wanted to create a history of India, whereas there was no reference to our Hindu civilizational past. Why was there an attempt to downplay this crucial part of our history? Was it not secular? 
Is it secular to hide this part of our history? 75 years we've not known about it and today I say that I'm proud that on Sunday as we inaugurate the new parliament of India on that very day this symbol of our Indic civilizational history will be put and given its rightful place in the parliament of India forever. Ladies and gentlemen before I am joined by the by the very very erudite S. Gurumurthy who will tell us more about it.